Hello everyone. My name is Rakshit, Microsoft Certified Data Analyst Associate. Today, we are starting a brand new playlist on data and analytics. In this playlist, we will have a brief overview of this industry. We will be discussing about key tools, technologies, trends, use cases, different business studies, and also we will be covering about different job profiles, different type of data analysis, and a lot more. So if you are someone who want to upskill yourself in this domain or if you are someone who want to cross skill yourself in this domain this is the right playlist for you So in this video particularly we will be discussing the basic aspects of data and analytics we will discuss about what is data what is data analysis why is it important what companies expect from a data analyst what are the different use cases involved in this domain We will be also discussing about few companies who have leveraged this technology to their best and at last we will be looking into the key statistics that reflect the future of this industry so without wasting any time let's get started Well the first and foremost question that we need to discuss is what is data in layman terms data is information so if i keep myself as a reference the number of views subscribers comments or average watch time is a data for me now it is up to me how i leverage that data it is estimated that an average individual generates around 1.7 megabytes of data per second on the internet but sadly 90% of that data is in unstructured format that is either it is irrelevant for the business or it cannot be used directly by the developers to generate insight for the business so this is where we as data analysts business analysts data engineers data scientists and database administrators convert the unstructured data to structured data and generates relevant insights from this but how do we do that this is where data analysis comes into play In layman terms again data analysis is a process to analyze the raw data and draw conclusions from it but how do we do that well there are multiple complex steps involved for example we might have to store data from different locations to a single location and then we might need to clean it filter it transform it model it and then visualize it but what do businesses do with this let's say structured data well there can be n number of use cases that can be performed on this data for example business can use this data for targeted advertisements they can use it to improve their operations like sales logistic etc it can be used to study consumer behavior consumer patterns and it can be also used to give a personalized experience to the users Well these are just few use cases and there can be a lot more For example let's discuss about few companies that have been really successful in leveraging this technology to their best The first company that comes into my mind is Amazon Amazon generates huge amount of transactional data every year and it uses this data to improve its operation and platform For example the home page that we see whenever we log into Amazon is personalized to us Well, how does Amazon manage to create a personalized experience for me? It is tracking my buying pattern and understanding my buying behavior through whatever I have added in the cart, whatever I have bought in the past, what all items I have marked favorite and so on. Another example I can give from its platform is whenever we add something to the cart, Amazon recommends us some other products as well. For example, if I add laptop to my cart, Amazon will recommend me if I want to buy mouse, keyboard, antivirus, if I want to extend my warranty and so on. Well, this is done by analyzing the data of millions of customers who have bought all these items in a bucket. In short, through data and analytics, Amazon is trying to increase my buying potential and maximize its profit. Isn't it fascinating? Yes, it is. Other companies like Swiggy, Zomato, Dunzo, Netflix, Walmart are investing heavily in this industry. Now, let us look into some statistical figure associated with data analytics. Around 2.7 million jobs were posted for data and analytics profile in 2020 alone. 
by 2023 this industry is expected to be worth 103 billion dollars with a CAGR growth of 11%. It is also estimated that by 2025 11 to 13 million new jobs will be created in this domain. Well, these figures really reflect that the future of data analytics is very bright and it would not be wrong to say that this is absolutely the right time to enter this industry. Well, that's it for this video. If you find this video informative, click the like and subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.